Hi. Um, I'm going to uh, show you how to make a simple double reeded instrument using a common drinking straw. Um, people ask me, how do you know how to play so many di different instruments? And I go, well, if it's a string, it's just a string strung across a box, no matter how fancy the box may be. And then on woodwinds, it's just a, it's just a different length um, tube with holes in it that, that makes the tube longer or shorter. So uh, and I can demonstrate that by using this straw. What I'm gonna do is bite the end of it, flattening it out. And then when you sort of pinch it and blow on it, it makes a sound. That's a little too harsh. I need a little bit Something like that. That might work. So I'm gonna take a hot iron and I've already pre-marked it where I think the holes should be based on uh, others I've made in the past. I'm gonna poke a hole in here. Let's see if we can get that first note up the scale. You can see your, your, your pitch is determined by the, how high up or low on the pipe it is and then also how large the opening. Let's see what it sounds like. Let's see if I can get it evened out. No. It needs to be a little more open. I need to let a little more air out. So I'm gonna go ahead and Enlarge the hole a little bit, just a little bit at a time. You gotta sort of sneak up on the thing. <laughs> Plastic. Alright, it's trying to travel up. Let's go ahead and open up the next one. Blow that smoke out of there. All right, I don't want to be inhaling plastic. All right, there's two notes. It's sort of a balancing act between the tip of the straw and, and then the, the, the holes. All right, so that's not too bad. That's controllable. I'm gonna go ahead and poke the next one in. See if we get the next note in the scale. Not too bad. See if we got the fourth note. Not bad. Let's go on up. Next. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and poke the next one too. Those are usually, the three top holes are usually pretty evenly spaced. It's these bottom ones that you, you have a little bit of gap between that first hole and the second hole and the third. These two are closer together in proportion. Now the upper ones, you got a little bit more gap here, but then the three uppers, you can usually control the pitch enough when they're evenly spaced. So let's see if that's true. And then I'm going to need a hole on the back to get that last note of the scale because the pipe is so short it won't go into the upper range. Just a little bit to let some out. And I'll pop it, pop it up into the next octave. So there you go. That's how simple it is to make a little oboe straw. Now let's see if I can play a tune on it.
something like that. All right, well, that's enough. You get the idea now. Now go out and try it yourself. Bye for now.